San Francisco Bay is home to several man-made islands often formed as a byproduct of development. As houses and businesses sprung up around Marin County in the 1950s and 60s, the dirt excavated from building sites was simply dumped into the bay. After the 2007 Costco Busan oil spill, one of these dirt islands was identified as an important sanctuary for birds. Today, Aramburu Island is a resting place for more than 50 species of birds and is an active restoration site for the Richardson Bay Audubon Center and Sanctuary, with funding provided in part by the Oil Spill Restoration Settlement. On November 7, 2007, the ship Costco Busan struck the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge. The collision punctured the vessel and caused more than 50,000 gallons of fuel oil to spill into the bay. U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service employees, including law enforcement, assisted with response and natural resource assessment. As part of the assessment, the service helped to develop a restoration plan to restore damaged resources like habitat. That is when the tiny 17-acre Aramburu Island started to get the attention of biologists. The oil actually reached most parts of the bay, and in particular, um, a lot of the oil was transported up to Richardson Bay through wave action. And at that point, Audubon um, scientists and volunteers noticed that the majority of birds in Richardson Bay were actually using Aramburu Island to escape the toxic waters. And at that time, Aramburu Island was covered in invasive vegetation. There was no beach at all, and so there really would have been no suitable habitat. So it was really saying a lot that these birds were forced to escape onto this island um, which was essentially a dump site at the time. After large oil spills, state and federal trustee agencies can seek financial compensation for the damage caused to the environment. It was estimated that the oil spill killed nearly 7,000 birds and oiled 3,376 acres of shoreline habitat. With such large-scale ecosystem damage, the Costco Busan Trustee Council, which includes the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and other agencies, was awarded over $30 million in restoration funds. One site selected for restoration was Aramburu Island, and the Trustee Council gave $1 million to the Richardson Bay Audubon Center and Sanctuary to create a habitat suitable for birds on the island. Even with the funds secured, the center had their work cut out for them, as the island was never designed to be a bird sanctuary. One of the first issues that had to be solved was the erosion of Aramburu Island. As you can see, the waves come in from the southeast, and they hit the island, and they used to dig into the edge of the island causing um, a serious erosion problem and then they would push that material further up the island so essentially they were carving out a cliff into the island and the island was getting narrower and narrower each year losing about two to six meters per year um, depending on storm events. We brought in the fine sand as well as this nice white oyster hash that you can see. And we created a beach that would have typically existed in this type of the Bay Area. And that beach is actually held into place by the micro groins, which are then perpendicular to the shoreline. They're sticking out. They look like tree trunks and rock piles. And they're actually the pins that are holding the shoreline into place. The beach was not the only habitat addition to the island. Aramburu Island now contains grass sedge meadows, salt grass meadows, saline flats, a high tidal marsh, and vernal marsh. The vegetation for these new habitats is transplanted from shore. This is the Harding Station of the, uh, the Aramburu Island Enhancement Project. And you can see here we have a bunch of salt tolerant natives growing. We produce about 50% of the plants that are going to be going out to the restoration project on the island. 50% are produced here. The other half are contracted by a local nursery. The restoration of Aramburu Island is still ongoing, but with the expertise of the Richardson Bay Audubon Center and Sanctuary staff and oil spill restoration funds, Aramburu is a completely different place since birds first started using it to escape oil.